Alrighty, so I'm gonna take an attempt to fix some holes that I made in my wall and replacing the drywall. Hole number one, uh, it's about six inches wide, I don't know, three inches high, like that. And hole number two, a little bit smaller, but I just stud right there. And we're listening to fucking Pink Floyd right now. Rocking and rolling. We got Biscuit here helping us. So, the materials you'll need are a 2x2 two two sheet of drywall. Uh, you can get that for like five bucks at Home Depot. Uh, extension cord. Uh, sorry, I'm distracted by the cat. Uh, drill. Got your sheetrock knife, your spackling uh, knife tape measure, some studs and a pencil, some drywall adhesive tape, drywall screws, all-purpose compound, and a dish for that compound. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear out all of this excess right here and square it off nice and neat um, with our drywall knife and just make it like a nice square. And we'll get back to you. Alrighty, so I've got all my materials. I've got my 6x6 six six square drawn out and my 7x7. Seven seven. That's how big the holes are. You gotta make them about an inch bigger on both sides. And now I'm about to cut them. So now I'm outside because I don't want to get dust everywhere. So let's get to work on this. to me that I probably should have just used a razor blade to cut this. It's way easier. I'm supposed to use a knife for the wall. But I already got started. Might as well see it through. Alright, so, now that I just got dust all over everything, I'm going to cut that the right way with a razor blade. Back again here, fucking, we just got our pieces cut out, got our 6x6 six six and our 7x7, seven seven. and what we're going to do is basically you're going to put it, center it over the hole, and you're going to trace over it. And, and then after that, you're going to cut out, cut it out and clear out all the excess old crap. I also got to say that you got to like stick your hand around in there or a flashlight and look around to make sure that you're not like going to mess with any old wires or whatever. Because there is an outlet right there. It's like not too far away, but it's got to be careful with what you mess around with. I got my seven by seven piece. I trace a square. And that's all the excess that I'm gonna cut out to put in that old that new piece of drywall. Dead in Ohio. Oh, dead in 
in Ohio. Now there's a lot of uh, dust coming out. It's nice to have a receptacle to catch all your crap in. So you're not stuck with a big cleaning job when you're done. Sorry about that biscuit. All right, so I've got my hole all made out. Biscuit's helping me. He's on drywall duty too. Let's see if I can get that last piece dropped down in there. Nope. Ooh, there's a lot of cash behind the wall. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, got that all fitted out. And then basically, I'm going to put my 7-inch square inside there, but it's like, how else am I going to fasten it on? What am I going to fasten it on to? Well, that's what these are for. I'm going to put these inside, like so and have a drywall anchor or a drywall screw up here and one down here and then that's what i'll be uh anchoring it into the piece that i'm replacing it with anyway i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna film it so i'm just gonna take care of it real quick all right all right so now you can see that it's got my backing right here that's where i'm gonna screw the new piece of sheetrock into and i'm gonna put the other one in on this side so we'll check back in a sec all right so we got our second one in and now we're going to put this over it. Like so. So now that that's over right there, I'm going to drill that in and move on to the next step. Okay, so we finally got both of our holes patched up. 7x7 seven seven and the 6x6. Six six. So now I'm going to... Use some fiber tape and put around the borders of it, and then I'm going to spackle it off. First one's taped up. And that's the finished product right there. Um, Gotta let the spackling dry for a little bit and you can sand it down with some some very uh, like light sandpaper or you can use like a sanding sponge uh, with, with some water. And that'll bring it down to the smoothest that you want and all I need to do is just paint it and I'm done. Thumbs up! Woo!